Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm working today in uh, Fife, so I thought I would come a little early and uh, bring the camera with me. As you might be able to see, uh, behind me the sun's just catching the top of the trees at the moment because we're only about 10-15 minutes after sunrise and uh, a thin dusting of snow, not much so I'm going to do a little bit of woodland photography uh, the conditions aren't great it's uh, I don't know if you're able to see this <laughs> we have uh, clear blue skies so I think we're going to have some pretty harsh uh, highlights, some pretty dark shadows, so difficult conditions for photography, but we'll do it. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can grab some images. I've uh, I found this little path. <coughs> there's, been, there's some footsteps, so clearly somebody's been here before. But, uh, I've never been down this way, so I thought I'd come off the beaten track and see where it leads. Okay, I'm not completely sure, but I believe there's a small walk just in the forest here and uh, I get the feeling that this path is leading to the side of the walk that I've never been on before so uh, we're about to get some new views uh, possibly not oh no no I can see it yeah yeah we are So now it's really just a case of trying to find some compositions. Uh, we have some footprints, I'm still following some footprints, so it's clearly somebody's been here before. Uh, but no obvious photographs coming to mind yet. But We'll keep looking. Okay, I was right. <laughs> this is the the loch that I, I remembered. As you can see, it's, it's pretty solid, frozen solid. So that, that path I found uh, came in just over at the far end there and I kind of followed the, the line of the loch. Now I know that there's a, a walk down there but I also know in this direction um, there's some lovely old trees so I think I'm going to head down this way and uh, See if we can grab some shots because that's obviously, I don't know if you can see that in the background there, but that's where the light's hitting at the moment. This, this area is still, I think we're in a bit of a hollow here, so this is still very much in the dark, but through those trees you can see the light start to pick out details. So I'm going to head that way, see if we can find some more uh, little compositions in amongst the, the trees.
path here going into the woods. I think I'll head in there. See what's going on. Right, we have some absolutely stunning looking trees here, so I'm going to grab a couple of shots. We've got this one here with the lights catching, which is nice. And then in the background there, I don't know if you can see it, but you've got uh, two kind of curvy looking trees, which are just catching the light as well. And then, still in darkness, I've got this lovely old thing here. So I'm going to try and grab shots of all three uh, individually and then maybe see if I can find a composition where all three are in the same shot because that's a nice collection of trees right there. Okay, so uh, <laughs> no sooner did I set the tripod up to take a shot of that first big tree but the light's moving because the sun's so low. Um, light and shadows kind of shooting across the the landscape pretty quick so by the time I actually got the tripod set up and framed up the shot the little shaft of light that was picking out the tree had moved so I missed the shot completely uh, which is annoying but this gnarly old tree here um, if you can see the sun's just starting to pick out some bushes just behind it so I'm thinking that in a couple of minutes the light might hit that tree. So I've set up a composition here um, and then it's just a matter of uh, waiting to see what happens. It's still a silhouette at the moment but as you can see the light's starting to pick out the two trees just to either side of this one and that little um, arch there is starting to pick up some light as well. So I'll talk you through quickly through the composition before I to go crazy and try and grab this shot before it disappears again. But basically I'm using this fallen tree which is still covered in snow as a leading light and that's my foreground interest. I've stopped the way down to F10 to try and get quite a bit of depth of field on this because I want this sharp from start to finish. And then I've lined that up so it's literally pointing at this tree here. And uh, again we've got some the lights just starting to pick out the the tree now. Uh, on the top, just up here on one of the branches, it's starting to pick up some light. So I'm hopeful that in a couple of seconds that's going to that's going to pop with some light. Hopefully, you can see the the light is just starting to catch the base of the tree. It's almost disappeared from the the others again now, but it's just starting to catch the base of this tree. Um, so I'm hopeful. Meanwhile all around me there's some lovely compositions in the trees. But yeah, they look it's starting to starting to get the base of the tree now. So I'm basically just shooting off shot after shot. I've not changed the composition in any way, I'm still using this leading line of this tree. Um, and I'm basically just grabbing it as the light picks out details in that tree trunk. I'll show you the back of the camera here. Um, it's a fairly simple composition, but I kind of like it. It's, uh, in case you're wondering, this is I've set up a time lapse as well. Basically just for kind of B-roll for the for the video. I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to see the, the light as it moves across the scene and illuminates that tree. Ah, it's starting to go in there, look. I've got to say this isn't really the type of photography I do. I, I'm, I don't really have the patience. I know you get a lot of very successful uh, landscape photographers will sit around for hours um, just waiting in the light uh, I don't have that kind of patience I'm, I'll take reference shots and maybe come back again another time but uh, I'm not somebody that will sit for four or five hours waiting in the light and I kind of like the way we've got just a little line of light 
that's kind of working its way through the forest and then picking out the tree. So uh, I'm wondering if I should maybe change the composition slightly to include that light. I seem to have spent my entire morning shooting this same tree. Uh, I've come around the other side now, as you can probably see. I'm kind of shooting directly into the sun, but th thankfully the sun's kind of obscured by those trees in the background. So what happened is I get a nice little sunburst coming through, and this old gnarly tree is in, is in silhouette. But we're, we're getting some details in the grass, and it's picking out little bits, little patches of snow and stuff like that. So I kind of like that. I'm going to move around this way slightly to see if that gives us a better angle on the gnarly old tree. The only problem we have is that there's a, a young sapling here which is going to then come into the frame unless I can get slightly in front of that so that I can remove that from the shot. Uh, I'll give that a go. I've just, I've come down as well, I've got this lovely old uh, branch that's just clearly fallen off and it's starting to decay. Uh, I'm going to try and grab a couple of shots of that after as well, but in the meantime I'm concentrating on this tree because uh, that's great, it's beautiful. Well, it's just starting to pop down here as well. There's some nice big trees down there as well, so I might make my way down there. But <laughs> I'm still reluctant to leave this guy because that tree there is just stunning. Okay, we have a couple of developments. Um, I just realised that by coming to the other end of that uh, whole branch here, I didn't realise the top end of it was covered in snow. So it might be possible to get a composition. This is my new favourite tree in the world right now. And we've got, we've got this. And I'm wondering if it's possible to include both in the same shot. We've obviously got this huge pine tree in the middle, uh, which is going to cause some problems, but I think we might be able to get both of them in the same shot. I've also just noticed that we've got the remains of an old stone wall here, running down through the, the forest. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, try to get this shot and then I'll see if I can do something with that stone wall. Because I like the details in the stone wall. You can see that all, all the individual stones are covered in snow. So there's got to be a shot in there, hasn't there? Right, what I've, what I've done here is I've I've come to the other side of the wall and I've just realised that they've got another shot of this tree. And this time uh, the pine doesn't interrupt the shot, but I can still include the fallen trunk with the snow on the top. So I'm giving it a couple of minutes to see if the light improves because I've just noticed they've got a little patch of light trying to hit the foreground here. Oh, I don't think it's going to hit the, the tree, but we might get just a leading line of light, possibly leading up to the tree or picking out that fallen branch with the snow on it. So I'll give this five minutes and see what happens. Okay, so I think this video is probably going to, it's just titled itself 10 shots of the same tree. Uh, I went down to the wall, there wasn't, a, there wasn't an awful lot of images there. So I'm back at my uh, favourite tree. Uh, the, the lights moved around a little bit. It's not quite, I'll let you see this look. It's not quite hit the tree yet, but that little shaft of light there has given me some hope that it might. It's an, an impressive old tree, isn't it? I didn't shoot it from this angle, but there's too many trees, I think, here. Uh, which is a shame, because it looks quite interesting angle here again. Now that's, that's quite an interesting angle. The problem is, I'm in it. <laughs> uh, so 
I may not work. Right, uh, reluctantly, I'm having to call it a day. Uh, it's time to go do the job that I came to the area for in the first place. I think I've got some interesting shots of that tree. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time to go down to the loch, so that's probably one for another day. But uh, I like that tree. I like that tree, I'll be back for that. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy the hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you like what you see, then give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.